Do you ever wonder, as you wander through the wilderness and the mud, why do bird beaks all look so different? Hi everyone, it's Carrie from the Wilderness Center, and I hope you're hungry because today we're talking all about food. You like seeds and insects and little fuzzy animals, right? <laughs> Let's talk about food that we eat. Humans eat a lot of different things because most of us are omnivores, meaning we eat plants and meat. And we have these great fingers to hold tools to help us eat so we don't get messy. How clever! We use different tools for different foods. Would you ever use a straw to eat a cheeseburger? Nope. Would you ever use a knife to drink a glass of juice? That might get a little dangerous. Birds have tools to help them eat the foods they like to eat. And their tools come built right into their bodies. This is a red-tailed hawk. Let's check out his beak and his talons. That's like his toenails. As you can see, it's really sharp and has a little hook on the end. And his talons down here are also very sharp, like claws. These act as forks and knives when he's eating his food because he eats meat. You can't do that with this beak. This is a northern flicker, like a woodpecker. And his beak is really long, like a toothpick. And he uses his long toothpick beak to get all the way into the bark of the tree so he can use his really cool tongue to grab those insects out. That skinny long beak can fit right in there. Can't do that with this beak. This is a northern cardinal. It's Ohio State bird. And if you look at his beak, it is really short and thick and very strong. So he uses his beak to crack seeds because that's what he likes to eat. Can't do that with this beak. A hummingbird has a beak that acts like a straw that they stick their super weird tongue through to drink nectar from flowers. And even though hawks are pretty cool, they could never do that. Hey, here's a fun fact about woodpeckers and hummingbirds. They have special bodies that let them have a really long tongue so they can reach in and grab that insect or drink that nectar. In fact, if I was a woodpecker, my tongue would stick out to here. I'm not. If you'd like to try your hand at eating like a bird, plan it for your next meal. Gather some simple things from around your house to represent the different beaks. A straw, a toothpick, a clothespin, and a fork. Then just serve lunch. You can choose what tool is easiest to eat whatever you are eating. Some great foods to add in might be juice, raisins, candies, and a hot dog. The next time you see a bird, take a closer look at his beak. Maybe you can figure out what he likes to eat just by looking at its shape. Or see what he orders next time you're in the restaurant together. Well, all this talk about food has made me really hungry. Time to eat some human food. Until next time when we wander and wonder through the wilderness again.